Hey, what's up, YouTube? A uh, quick little video here for you. And then at the end of it, I'm going to tell you where to go because the winner has been chosen. It's the Racing Champs Charger Daytona. This was a really hard one to find. I never found it. And I know. Well, oh, this was in the first release from the round two relaunch. And a lot of collectors had a really hard time finding this one, so this came in a trade from Champion DJK, and it is it is sick. That's a nice Daytona. Man, that's a nice ride. You can see it has a ton of detail. It's a really nice metallic blue. Great detail on this car. It's got the right stance. A little bit of a tire issue here. That's something that I have found to be a regular occurrence with these cars. That one's not so bad though. So that thing is sweet. <clears throat> One of the reasons I like this is because it's an old Ertl American Muscle tooling. Here's another Racing Champs release that was an American Muscle tooling. So these have plastic bases, but they have separate, like separate axles, separate gas tank. Some of them have separate drivetrain. There's the 65 GTO. And I like these cars because I pick them up. And I put them in the collection with the Ertl American Muscle. Which are some of the nicest American 1 to 64 scale cars ever put out. Right up there with uh, Auto World, Greenlight, and in some cases M2. These I think were kind of the predecessor to those. 71 Dodge Charger. Awesome little car. And then the newest one to my collection here. The 1970 Chevy Camaro. So that's why I like... <clears throat> I'm not a big Racing Champions fan. But whenever they use those Ertl toolings, like this Daytona, then I'm all for it. So... So that'll go on display with those. I have a few others as well. All right. I'll crack this car open. This came in a trade from Champion DJK, circa 1989. does have a small issue on the passenger side door and that is going to take a little bit of work to get to get that undone I don't know if the camera will show that but the door is behind the stop really cool car though Lens headlights, which are part of the windshield, which aren't, it's, they're not yellowing yet, so that's pretty awesome. Got the Ultra Hots. Metal body, metal base. Really cool Nissan 300Z. Alright, I'm going to blow through these real quick. These are some of the new more recent releases of this Matchbox 
Toyota Land Cruiser. This one's really recent. This one is really recent. And they do look kind of similar, but they're definitely different. This one is the most recent, the camo. That plastic front end. And then this one is one of the more recent ones. This might be the first or second release with the plastic front end. This is from the Jurassic Park. And then before that, here's the last one that they released with the metal front end and metal fenders. And then going back, I have a couple more. This one here. It's awesome paint. I love this colorway. Really nice. And then here's a really nice civilian model. <clears throat> These old ones like this can get up there in price. They're about $20 a piece. You can almost get a Johnny, an older Johnny one for that. But I got a couple more today in a trade from Champion DJK. I don't really know which one to do first. I'll do this one first. Circle 2011. There's a red one of these if you guys have it. It's worth $160. Wow, this purple is sick. That's like a Spectra Flame almost. Really cool color. The white top, tan interior. Check out that grill. Now this is a mainline. These were only a buck when they came out. They're going to cost you a lot more than that now. Very cool. No detail on the back, unfortunately. Like the blue one. This is the earliest one that I have still. 2007 and then this one 2010 in metallic blue it's just sick to add these I love these this one might be a new favorite right here Really nice smoke tent windows with tan interior. Very cool. All right, so for all you that entered the 3,500 subscriber giveaway, you need to go to Champion DJK's channel. I'll post the link in the comments or in the description. Um, he did the drawing tonight, so we have a winner. So the winner needs to PM me on YouTube and I will get your information if you're international then we'll work out the shipping and we'll take it from there if it's an international winner that doesn't want to pay the shipping then we will redraw another name all right and that's gonna do it for this video I have family in town, so I can't spend a lot of time with Diecast right now. So, but I never did tell you guys where or when, when or where the drawing was going to take place. So I had to do this real quick just to show you guys or just to let you guys know. And I figured while doing so, I'll crack a couple of cars that I got from Champion DJK. So there you go. Go to his channel. The video's up. Congratulations to the winner. And thank you everybody for the support. I'll holler at the next video.